What's going on YouTube? How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good and I hope you're doing good as well. Hope you're having a great day. And I just wanted to make this video because this came to me as I was waking up. Um, my last public talk that I gave at the Kingdom Hall was about March of last year, 2014. It was a couple of weeks before we celebrated the memorial. And it was about 1914 and when God's kingdom began to roll. And in this public talk outline that I was given, there was a quote from Charles Russell about how he came into the Bethel um, room and he stood up and clapped his hands and got everyone's attention and he said that the uh, the Gentile times have ended and the kings have had their day and that was such a faith stirring announcement to everyone at Bethel there in 1914, October 1st. Um, so I encouraged all the audience to be able to explain the 1914 date from their Bibles only and not to use the Bible teach book because I was having a hard time doing that myself and if I couldn't do it and I was giving talks in front of the congregation then um, more than likely most people couldn't do that themselves anyway so I encourage the audience to do that see if you can prove 1914 with just using your Bible only but that little point just kind of stuck with me and then in the district convention a couple of months later just before I was disfellowshipped they came out with a book it's called um, God's Kingdom Rules and on the very first page I believe it is they have a picture an artist picture of that scenario so I wanted to do a little research and see about this famous saying that Charles Russell had and so I'm going to display some of the pages that I did a word search on for the Gentile times have ended. And I wanted to see when they, the witnesses actually started quoting from that famous saying of Charles Russell. And so here are some of my findings.
So, as you can see, that quote, um, that famous saying from Charles Taze Russell supposedly happened in October 1st of 1914. And the first occurrence of that saying wasn't until 1950. Uh, 36 years later. And then it wasn't until 1966 where it was revealed who actually was relating that story and that 1966 Watchtower was the uh, personal story of A.H. McMillan. And then after 1966, there were a total of three more um, occurrences of that quote in the Watchtowers in 1990, 1992, 2007, and then again in that book in 2014. So for 36 years, an entire presidency of um, J.F. Rutherford passed by no mention of it. There wasn't even a mention of it while C.T. Russell was alive. He didn't die until October 31st, 1916. No mention of it. So, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to leave that up to you. You decide whether you think that's actually happened or not. I would say such an important and faith-strengthening announcement probably would have been mentioned in the Watchtowers and it wouldn't have taken 36 years. But that's just me. I'll leave that up to you and you make your own decision. Did this happen or was it made up? Anyways, I'll be coming back at you with some more videos. I got some research going on exposing the Witch Tower, which I love doing. And I really want to thank you for watching my videos and taking some time out of your schedule to do that. Have a great and wonderful day, and I will catch you on the next side.